Hello everyone, and welcome back to Clouds of Rain. Okay, so this time I want to see if I can get farther towards this wolf. Because there's like an ability over there I want to get. Plus you get a, um... I think you get like one of those projects for actually killing the wolf, and I kind of want that. But we're going to have to get through some boars first in order to do that. Yeah. Now we have our heavy weapons equipped. This one just looks like a party of one. This shouldn't be too bad. Oh, what? Where's the other one? Well, whatever. Um. I guess you can block for now. You're more of a threat. Can I pull you towards me? I should have done this from the start. You know, given that we don't have magic that, um, really takes advantage of, like, these two enemies, maybe we should, like, uh... I'm gonna swap you two. We'll try that instead. Yeah, because you have earth magic, which can take out the, the, um... Uh, which can take out the, uh, the, like, lightning-elemented boar. Being blinded means I'm supposed to be more, or they're supposed to be more likely to miss. Oh no, um... Get over here. Okay, okay, that went okay. Oh, the boar down here was part of that encounter. Oh! It's just one. <laughs> that really surprised me. You're earth elemented yourself. There we go. <laughs> that probably 
didn't mean to sneak up on you like that. It was just behind the wall, you know? Ah, oh, we don't have many healing items right now, though. That looks like it's it before the wolf, though. So yeah, going back to heal is probably smart. Oh god, do we know what type of armor wolves tend to be? How have we not fought a single enemy that's medium armored yet? Or a single beast that's medium armored? I guess swords, axes, and scythes are what I should do. I'll keep that in mind. I feel like this fight might take a couple tries. Okay, I don't know what element you are either. You're the heavy hitter, so put that on you. I like swords, so I can pull them to the front row. We'll try that. Oh, there is a, um... Oh, right, 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 the game did introduce that. I just kind of forgot about it because it so rarely happens. You're light elemented. You have a lot of health, too. You're immune to that. You know, let's try this. I need you in the front row for that. Come here. You can raise your own attack, okay. That did more damage? That didn't really feel like it did more damage. Ooh. You go next, maybe I can confuse you to hitting yourself? There we go! That kind of relied on luck a lot, but it, it worked out pretty well. And you know what? You have a lot of health, so we'll... Oh, of course you're immune to that, okay. We'll try that again. Nope, okay. That lasts for two turns, though. Maybe I could spend this round, like, charging up and, like, getting health back, or getting MP back. Mm -hmm. 
Hit yourself. Nope, okay, fine. I guess put that on you. I think we got this. Oh, we definitely got this. Normal attack should do it from here. Nice! Okay, that went well. I think that was a bounty too, so yeah, if we ever go back to that uh, town, we can now uh, get something for that. Nature Ward Star. Not really worth it. I don't really find myself using those ward skills, but like it's good to have, I guess. I should heal up too. Oh, humans. Huh. Okay, you have light armor, so... A scythe is still okay for this. Do this just to get rid of the blindness, because you're my heavy hitter. this. Actually, maybe that wasn't the best idea, considering you weren't really attacking as is normally. Wait, if I push you back, you can't do anything. Oh, no. Well, if they didn't have magic, I, that, that, that would totally be the case. At least I can still hit him. Some games don't make it so you can't do that. Well, alrighty then. I could have gone a little better, but at least we learned some things. <laughs> There's something up there. Another human. Oh, are those the, um, the bandits of the river? That's the third bounty. I don't think I'm ready for what is practically... An yeah, that... Oh, that's a lot of people. Um, I don't think I'm ready for what is practically another boss fight, so... 
I guess we'll skip that for now. Uh, we will have to fight those guys, I think, though. Okay, we got light armor, guys. Simple enough. Are you a friend or a foe? I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. Oh, you're moving like an enemy. Okay. I think I only have two options here and they're both fight humans. So I'm gonna go back and save real quick and then we'll, we'll try this. God, there's like seven people there. I yeah, that that's an enemy. I don't think I can take that on right now. Oh no. No! Oh no! Oh, only two of them. They both have light armor too, what luck. Um, what are their elements? Okay, I can't take advantage of this. I guess I'll just start by using that on you to lock your spells. That's all I have. Oh, good. Okay, this might be the only time I ever get use out of this spell. <laughs> for that. Those look like magic users. Oh god, uh... Thank <laughs> you. 
I know I just wasted a bunch of heal MP items. Or you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna soft reset. And then I'm gonna like try that encounter then. I don't feel like doing that one encounter I just did unless I'm going to take out all of the river bandits, which I don't feel ready to do. So instead of wasting the items, um, I'm just gonna like just go ahead and try that fight to the right or to the left. Don't provoke them this time. That looks like light... I think that's light armor on all three of them. So yeah, this should be a good setup. Heavy. Medium. I think that'll be more worth it. Oh, three of them. That did not work out as well as that attack normally does. They're all water elemented. Okay, so we actually can't take advantage of a weakness at all here. Hmm. I got an idea. Let's not focus on magic at all. give the scythe to you. Put you in the front. Get rid of this armor as well. Let's try this. Heavy, medium, medium. Oh my god, that did a lot! Dude, my whole strategy revolves around you. want all three of you in the same row. Oh, 
Oh my god, no, this isn't working. I have a very, a very particular strategy in mind. I mean, this is as good as I'm gonna get. We don't have any anti-human oil. Wait, we took the wolf's whole head with us? <laughs> God, why'd that have to... Mm. I mean, that's... Oh, that doesn't send you to the... Dude, I'm in the back row! What the hell? <laughs> it's... What's the one? I wish I could do 70 damage with a single hit. Maybe I should try using the bow and arrow, considering that that can silence them, and like magic seems to be kind of the stick of this whole fight. What else can I do? You know what? Let's go back to town. I don't think I really need to heal up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some more supplies, and I'm gonna, like, I I'm gonna, like, cash in that bounty, like the wolf head, and see if I get anything that might help me in this next fight. Project Claymore. All that's left are the river bandits. So I, I talked to you to cash this in? Looks like an excellent sword. You want to forge the Claymore. Wait, I have another one? No, it's just another Claymore. Okay, so what's this like? Oh my god. Yo, that's pretty good. Oh, 
Let's also go back real quick and just pick some, like, herbs and stuff. There's something you can get here about getting into a battle. I learned that when I was, like, doing my off-screen session. Oh, no, no, no. I'll have to fight you. Oh, no! I didn't have time to equip my... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh... God, I really wish it was easier to run away from enemies. Because, like, the second they see you, they just beeline towards you. Yeah, that was not worth it. Um, Who puts the bridge back up? <laughs> You know what? I think Steel Dagger would be better. Because there are three of them, but it seems kind of hard to push them all into the same row. Okay, we'll see if we fare better with this uh, loadout. And also, because they're not the most expensive thing in the world, let's use this on you. Yeah, I used this off screen, but like when I when I did that like first bandit camp, but I don't think I've done it on screen yet. It like just turns your weapon like pea yellow. <laughs> and you do more damage to humans now. Oh, I can grab this. Okay, now I'm ready. 
Let's see if we can do this. God, why did they, like, all immediately just go before everyone else? Like, he might as well be dead after all that. The fight just started. Ooh. Oh, oh, now I don't have the scythe on me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they really hate him for some reason. Well, if you're gonna get in the front row, I'm gonna do this again. Oh, wait, what the fu- Oh, I used the wrong item. Don't you dare try to confuse me. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> no, okay, I think that is the way to go, though. can't reliably get them all into the same row. So I think I'll go with that instead. So like, Jander's there in case they get all get into the same row. They see me, okay. Oh my god! Be using Frost Ward in this fight? I mean, it's a thought, but like, I don't know. Like, if it was like something that hit a group, I think I'd feel a little more confident to do it. Also, they're all in the same row now, which is really good. Now, if they don't just one shot Jander, I'll be able to actually. Okay, good. Let's try sweeping. That did not do that much. Who are in the front row? He's gonna die, yeah. Although they're all in the front row again, which is nice. I'm gonna spend this time reviving... Okay, I'm using the right item. Okay, don't kill guard. That's good. That's actually really good. No one needs healing. I got something I can do. Yes! 
Yes! Okay, okay. Oh, fuck! Right, that counts as a spell. Um, oh no, they're all in the... Oh my god. They're, they're in the middle row, that's why I can't do that. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Are they trying to push me back specifically so I can't use, like, normal attacks on him? I used the wrong spell again. They're all in the same, the front row now, though. Can't kill two people in one turn. Do I have anything that that is guaranteed to hit? Because frankly, I don't trust this game to like actually hit. Oh my god! Why did that give me so much trouble? Battle Scythe. That's an upgrade to the Scythe, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go. I don't trust this game. I'm going back to save. <laughs> Okay, so if I get into another battle, I'll just reload, use a tent there, and then, uh, try that battle again. If there's a save point immediately after that fight, that's good, too. <laughs> I mostly just went back for peace of mind. Yeah, they told me this game was gonna be tricky, but I didn't expect to have to, like, min-max this much. You know, now that I think about it, you know what else might be really helpful in a game like this? The ability to change your difficulty after you've beaten it, or after you've, uh, you've started the game. Oh, okay, good, thank god. Because, I don't know, like, I, I do like a game being challenging, but just in case you get in over your head, an, an option like that would be very well appreciated. Good management of resources is fundamental to, avoiding be, uh, to avoid being un overwhelmed. If you're running short, you can always buy supplies in town. If you plan to stay behind to cast spells, consider using a bow. Once your magic power runs out, you'll still be able to attack from afar. You know, some enemies don't have an element. They possess a light resistance against every spell. There are also non-elemental -ele spells that work against everyone. Oh, there's more Boris up there. Okay, so the game is not giving me another break, as I see, so... We'll go ahead and use a, uh, a tent. Oh, that resets this too? Okay, so that, that does count as like an in, I take it. Interesting. There are a few encounters on the way back to town, but it's nothing I don't think I can handle. Oh god, I always forget battle sides look like that. Like, that's. they're so cool. <laughs> Man, 
Man, it's hard to think that that's like a... That's a light weapon by technicality. It is a sword, so... Well, if we're gonna fight some boars next, uh... Game? That's kind of weird. It's like I can't use the save point after using a tent. Oh, that's the other side of uh, that place. You're fire elemented. Okay, don't one-shot Jander. Oh, okay, we get to go first. Good. Good. That went very well. Why can I not examine this campfire? <laughs> Maybe the logs get in the way? At least you can still do it manually, but it's just kind of weird. Okay, what now? I see squirrels. Um, the steel dagger. Or actually... No, 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 that's also good against... Put that on you, because you're the heavy hitter. I don't know if I even want to fight them right now, though, but just in case we get into a battle... There's a boar down there. Oh, there's a boar and a squirrel down there. Okay, you see me. There's a treasure down there. Okay. Another squirrel. I'm gonna fight you. Okay, just one. Oh no. Ah, uh, that worked, I guess. There's a person over there. Oh, did we make it? Oh my god. <laughs> a town. Wait. Oh, I think I was supposed to approach this from the other side. I know we don't have a lot of time, but it's possible to collect a few rewards by eliminating the bounties around here. Get more information on the bounties, we just need to talk to the member of the Vox Populi inside the inn. What do you want? Our village is small, but on the road between Lindol and the capital, you'll find shops and an inn. Have a good day. Oh yeah, I was supposed to approach this from this side. <laughs> Bandits have occupied a ghost town on the road to Crossvale. There, are, there are many. Be careful if you go through there. The path that leads to the capital is blocked. The only way to get there is, an, is along a road that leads to the outskirts, passing through the grasslands in the woods. If you're heading that way, beware of beasts and criminals. My lady, I suggest resting here for the night. Let's ask the innkeeper. Do I have to rest here? I just healed, so... I do have an extra tent. I just wanted to check that real quick. And you're the bounty guy. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. We 
want a room for the night. They're upstairs. The cost includes a meal. That'll be 10 gold. Is that agreeable? If that's a... I, I take it that's a point of no return based on that text box. I think what I'm gonna do here... I'm gonna save... I'm gonna look around the, uh... More beach balls. <laughs> I'm gonna look around the town a little bit, and then we'll save and then maybe do that next episode. Buy another one of those, just in case we have another bandit camp that's that's destroying me. Whoa, whoa, we have new weapons! Steel dagger. Tempe tempered sword. Bearded axe. Morning star. Longbow. I would love to buy all of this, but I know I probably can't. Unless maybe I sell some old stuff. We have two clubs. Oh no, we have two heavy armors. We have a club and we have a hatchet. So I'm going to sell one of my hatchets. I'm going to buy a longbow because we've been using that, that item type a lot or that weapon type a lot. sell the old one, then we might have enough to actually buy another weapon. We do. Hmm. We have a claymore, so we don't need a sword. We have a battle scythe. We have a morning star. Should I buy armor instead, maybe? Oh, the armor is really expensive. I think it's better to just have the loadout I need. Or, hmm... I think we'll keep our money for now. You know, the queen. <laughs> Me. I heard the queen is working on a trading in favor of equality between the rich and the poor, as well as the races. You'll see afterwards things will be better. I don't know. I don't think it'll change the opinions that, um, that many men, especially the powerful ones, have about us. In the end, they're the ones who make the rules in the capital. Anyway, I'm glad there are people like you who don't judge people on their appearance. You're a sign of my appreciation. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Okay, then. I think we'll leave it off here, and then next time we'll continue on with the story. See you guys then. Thanks for watching.